I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzymental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to tell you about one of my favorite herbs for cleansing the kidneys, but also this versatile herb is very beneficial to several organs associated with the kidneys, including the liver, the bladder, the gallbladder, and the pancreas. And the translation of this herb's name tells you exactly what it does. The herb is Chanca Piedra, and it translates literally to stone breaker. And as you can imagine, it's a favorite natural treatment for kidney problems, but also it's been studied as a treatment for conditions like hepatitis B and HIV. So as I mentioned, the most famous application of Chanca Piedra is for kidney stones. And the name Chanca Piedra in Portuguese Quebra Pedra literally means stone breaker. Traditionally, this herb has been used throughout tropical South America for the treatment of kidney stones and urinary tract infections, and a German physician, Wolfram Wiemann, gave Chanca Piedra to more than 100 people with kidney stones in Germany and found that 94% of these people eliminated the stones within two weeks of taking Chanca Piedra. He concluded that Chanca Piedra caused no side effects other than cramping during passage of the stones in just a few of the people. So Dr. Wayman believed that the herb provided a permanent cure for kidney stones. Subsequent research in Brazil has confirmed that chemicals in Chanca Piedra keep calcium crystals, especially crystals of calcium oxalate, from entering the kidney cells. So if you do have kidney stones, you first absolutely want to check with your doctor before using Chanca Piedra, but this actually could really help you. Chanca Piedra has also been studied as a benefit for diabetes. Numerous patients in India have found that taking Chanca Piedra for a week lowers blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. And the herb's main value in treating the condition is the prevention of long-term complications within the eyes and central nervous system. So if blood sugars are out of control for a long period of time, large amounts of glucose flow into tissues that do not need insulin to absorb it. And this is especially true of the brain, nerve tissues, tissues and the lens of the eye, an enzyme in these tissues, known as aldose reductase, converts glucose into sorbitol, which is a nerve toxin that destroys nerve tissues in the process of diabetic neuropathy. Japanese researchers have found that Chanca Piedra contains aldose reductase inhibitors that stop the process of nerve damage in cell studies, although it's not clear if Chanca Piedra works this way for patients with diabetes, but it certainly possibly could help. Chanca Piedra is also very good for high blood pressure. In about 60% of people who have primary high blood pressure, raising the amount of sodium or salt in the blood starts a chain reaction that raises the kidneys production of the enzyme angiotensin II, which causes the walls of the arteries to constrict, raising blood pressure. Japanese scientists have isolated a compound from Chanca Piedra that acts on the kidneys as an angiotensin converting enzyme which is also known as an ACE inhibitor, which reverses this effect. This action could lower blood pressure among people who are salt sensitive, but there are unfortunately no human studies to confirm this. You can find Chanca Piedra in both capsule and tincture form, and where it's found as capsules or tablets, you'll often find it under its Ayurvedic name, Philanthus, and if you find it as a tincture, it's normally just regarded as chanca piedra or stone breaker. And if you're taking it as capsules or even liquid, you can take it on a regular basis for its health enhancing properties. I've said for many years that even someone with perfect health has sediment inside their kidneys because one thing the kidneys do is that they filter the blood and they monitor the blood at all times. So invariably they're going to accumulate sediment and debris from the blood. Even if you think you already have healthy kidneys, you might want to consider taking some Chanca Piedra just to maintain optimal health. It's a pretty easy herb to find today and so there really is no reason not to take it. Try taking it either as a liquid or capsules a few times a day between meals. Taking it with food seems to help digestion, particularly fat digestion and also cholesterol levels. It's a very safe herb to take and there really are no known drug interactions with it either. So just start taking some ideally between meals. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy. Thank <laughs> you.